How many staff members do you have in your office, not in the group, your office? In my staff, in my office, mm. only one receptionist, and uh, I use a, a typist that's not permanently in my service. We, as a group, use the, the typist. So how many, do you, how many are you in the office? You are three. It's you, the PA, and the typist. Uh, Yes, the receptionist and, and the typist. In your office? Yes. And then how many are black people? Uh, the receptionist is a, is a black woman. Um, have you ever visited a township? Yes. Where? When I was in Bopitotswana, on many occasions we had to go into the townships. Where? In, which, which township? In Kharankwa. Winterfeld. Can you speak any Mabupani. indigenous? Can you speak any indigenous language? No, no. Why? I cannot. I cannot give you a reason for that. I can hear a uh, chief I justice. I cannot give you a reason why I cannot speak. A yeah, have you ever seen any need to learn language. indigenous languages? Yes, I, I think it's a need to to. It's, it will be. Uh, um, a good thing to, 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 to speak a, a, an African language. But you still didn't see any need to learn it when you think it's a good thing to... No, know. I did not. You didn't see any need to learn African language? No, sir. Do judges have a role to play when it comes to transformation? Yes. What role will you play to transform society as a judge? Well, sir, maybe to give you an example, uh, I've attached a, a letter or email to my application form where a black woman appeared in my court in an opposed matter and she appeared in person. And I've guided her right through the proceedings. Um, and at the end of the day, I ruled in her favor. And she wrote a comment to the J judge president. Maybe I can, if I can refer to that document. <clears throat> it was, uh, the lady was Busiz where Maduna. She wrote that, Your Lordship, please allow me, and this is a letter that was, an uh, email that was addressed to the uh, Judge President. Your Lordship, please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude to the High Court, and in particular Judge J.J. Stratum, for the assistance given in my legal case. This lady was not represented, as I said, she appeared in person. By way of introduction, I'm a layman in terms of the law, but still represented myself at the High Court recently. I'm a black female, and this was my first time defending myself in a court as a plaintiff. I certainly did not have the correct terminology or know-how of when to even sit or stand. However, the judge and his team guided me through. Um, I was also grateful to some of the advocates showing me Ubuntu and informing me of what to do and when through whispers and hand gestures. Judge J.J. Stratum was courteous on all accounts. And then she ended up by saying that, uh, I'm also grateful that Judge J.J. Stratum allowed me to represent myself as I could not afford to have counsel representation. This is the type of compassion that can make a significant contribution to making our society right in at least understanding that we can have access to resources such as the courts with neither fear nor retribution due to a history of economic exclusion. Do you support transformation? Definitely, yes. How does your appointment help us to transform the judiciary? So, as I've, I've already said, um, uh, 
the I'm in favor of of, of transformation issues, but uh, I cannot say how my appointment will. No, no. Help transformation. You support transformation, therefore yes. you can't be subjective. In supporting transformation, you ought to tell us now, how does appointing you help to transform the judiciary, since you are a, a supporter of transformation? No, sir, I don't know. It doesn't help us, right? No. Appoint, appointing you <laughs> doesn't help us to transform the judiciary. Am I right? Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Nyambi. I'm covered, CJ. Thank you. Uh, Prof. Uh, thank you, CJ. My question is a follow-up to Commissioner Malema's one particularly on this letter, which makes reference to the concept of Ubuntu, because I was going to ask as to what is your understanding of that concept of Ubuntu, and also how does that concept help us to transform uh, the judiciary in terms of its functioning and also the jurisprudence that, that comes out of the court. Thank you. Commissioner, I, I don't know what is the concept of Ubuntu. Commissioner Dideza. Thank you very much, uh, CJ, and uh, good afternoon, Advocate. Huh? Yes, good afternoon. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, on your questionnaire on seven, uh, the earlier response you gave to the question regarding uh, whether you are aware of the uh, concept Ubuntu, uh, did you say that you were not aware of that concept or did I miss something? Pardon? Sorry? He did understand. Oh, okay. He didn't understand the concept. Yes, that, that, that's the question really I'm asking. I just wanted yes. to confirm if indeed you, you said you did not understand the concept uh, Ubuntu. Yes. Um, I'm just trying to, to understand your exposure to customary law because it seems to be at the very core of the indigenous knowledge system insofar as, um, you know, it's, it's at the core of, of, of African customary law even. Um, how did it escape you? Maybe I should ask a question differently. Your exposure to indigenous customary law is it only in relation to these two matters that um, we have just talked about. Because you seem to give me the impression that you've had exposure yes. to African it's, customary law. That's correct, yes. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jay. Thank you so much, so much Mr. Stradom. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't want to punish you with the deeds of your father. You know, your father was a, a judge, yes. a, a very difficult judge, we must say. Um, when it comes to transformation and the things that uh, your father did uh, while he was on that bench, uh, do you think that we should trust you with transformation? Well, firstly, I'm a, a, a different person. I've got a totally, totally different personality from, from my father. I've got my own mind, and uh, I've heard about things uh, he did. I did not agree with all, all he has done. I, in fact, challenged him on a couple of occasions as a son. Uh, but I, I, I believe I, I will do my own thing, and uh, I, I've got uh, a different view altogether and we live in a new dispensation and I, I totally accept the transformation and I will assist where I can also to transform, transform the bench through my interpretation and application of the constitution 
and, uh, and, and dealing with, with, with matters uh, properly. Which specific parts that you are further committed that uh, today you are saying you don't agree or you are denouncing? Well, uh, it is a long time ago. I must uh, now uh, refresh my memory. You're talking about 20 years ago. Uh, uh, I think he became a judge in 1974. Uh, he was in Namibia for eight years, and then after that he uh, came to the um, bench in uh, Pretoria, uh, and I think he already retired in 19, well, I'm not exactly sure, of ni uh, uh, 93 or something like that. But uh, uh, there, were, there, there was one specific matter uh, which I was unhappy with, and that related to a sentence he imposed in, uh, in Polokwane on circuit, uh, and that is the matter I specifically remember engaging with him, uh, uh, trying to, uh, uh, to, to get a feel why he did what he did. Uh, that, that, and uh, yeah, that's all I can say at this stage. Uh, uh, other specific incidents I can't now relate or inf inform the Commission about. I was trying to understand because, you know, with that background, uh, to some of us, it's very difficult to accept that you can advance the interest of a non-racial, non-sexist society when we know uh, the father that brought you in this world didn't share those aspirations. Uh, how, how do you convince us? Yeah, I, all I can say is uh, I cannot be responsible uh, for, for, for what he ha has done. Uh, he lived in a, a, a different era. Uh, he has his own, own background. I have a total diff different background. I had many other influences. I became aware uh, of uh, the constitutional democracy. I, I, I know the principles. I know the constitution. So all I can say is, I, al although he brought me in, in, into life, uh, I will not follow his thought uh, and his thoughts and the way he did things. Uh, and I must say, uh, I'm not saying that all he has done was bad. Uh, he was, uh, he was uh, a judge for on to 20, 21 years and uh, he also obviously, uh, according to me, uh, uh, did many or uh, heard cases uh, and work hard. So I, I just can't at this stage just uh, say just negative things about him. But um, uh, I will do my own thing, and I will have my own mind. And I have a different mind a set than his. No, I take your point, and as mm -hmm. I said in my intro, I, I don't want to punish you for the deeds of your dad, but I just want to convince myself that indeed it's not a perpetuation or continuation of something that uh, was not uh, right. Well, I, I can also just uh, take it a bit further that I've been acting since 2011. Uh, I've uh, applied the law. I've sat on many matters. I had no problem whatsoever with in, in any person. Uh, there were no complaints that uh, I'm uh, hard or I've got an attitude that's wrong or uh, that I uh, in anti-government or anything like that. There's been absolutely nothing. I've felt that during my uh, uh, six years or seven years of, of act, on and off acting, uh, I did my best and I, uh, I had no complaints and I written many, many, many judgments. And uh, all of those judgments have been accepted. I've never been taken, well, I've been taken on appeal once, but that was up upheld. And uh, I, I, I'm talking about approximately 100 judgments, which I've written over the year without any problems. Thank you so much, Chief Justice. Thank you, MSC, Justice Navza.